We dance the sacred patterns of the cosmos, the cycles of nature, and embrace the spiral paths that guide us back home to the wisdom within. Anchored in the balance of the lunar and the solar, yin and yang, we weave the universal threads of science, soul, and soma in service to lokahi consciousness within and all around, ushering in this next wave of wellness and medicine, a flow into the world. And now it is my greatest honor to declare the 2022 Neurosomatic Flow Teacher Training has officially commenced. And I am so happy to declare you all as the one and only class of this magical year of 2022. Uh, I just want to say this is amazing for me and Ginger to see so many people here. Um, it, was, it was two dreams of ours. One is to go international as opposed to just having people from Colorado or from the U.S. Number two, that we now have graduates who are now teachers and helping us spread the word of nourishment flow. And it's just really amazing for us to witness this. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Look, take one more gaze into that beautiful flame. Feel that flame in your heart. These flames, wow, this fire has just been absorbing everything here every single one of your prayers every single one of your intentions your words your purpose yeah so thank you fire and on the count of three let's blow these out one two three in listening to everyone's shares tonight we have a lot of women who have come into the program and the program's not for just women we just it just happens to be all women who by no influence of me have discovered this medicine on their own and the way and they've come into the program because they know because this for these women who we have so many who've gone through so much, especially now we're two years into COVID and people have gone through so much. And the majority of, of our trainees are the people who've gone through much. We've all gone through a lot, you know, a lot of different things, a lot of hard, fast, crazy changes, a lot of loss, a lot of grief, a lot of transformation, a lot of new opportunity. But listening to these women speak speak about their experience of some of some really intense traumatic experiences that many of us would think are unthinkable, you know, are just unthinkable. And hearing them talk about how the flow in the fire is like what has helped get them through. Um, one of the women uh, shared her words or something like, you know, the fire was the thing, the only thing that allowed her to root into something and feel rooted in a world, in her own world of just constant radical change, you know, and, um, and to hear, hear them speak mm, to the medicine as they have directly experienced it just it reawakened something in in me um maybe not reawaken but it raised it raised the bar for me actually and that's kind of hard to do because i've kind of dedicated my whole life to to sharing medicine flow but through their experiences and through their voices i have more reverence i have more reverence and respect for the fire and for the flow than ever than ever 
Um, so I'm just really grateful to be in service. It's an honor. It really is. It's an honor and a privilege to have been guided to this to to this path in my life um, from 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 a world that was couldn't be more disconnected to the spirit of the elements and um yes i'm talking about my days in biomedical science and i'm just really really grateful i i feel so 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 blessed to be doing this work and to be sharing it and to be in um in the company of so many powerful healers and teachers and professionals uh, who get it, who really get it. And it's like, there's a real collective here and it's continuing to grow and it's going to continue to grow. And um, it was a beautiful call beautiful souls new connections sparking in a way when we do these calls i literally like think of you know the the connections of of the micro in our brain right neurons firing and you know and if, if you think of the there's many many who 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 argue that the earth has consciousness and goddess gaia has a brain a ultimate goddess brain right with neurons and many of and as humans are part of that part of that that neural network and so just watching the sparks and these new connections birth today on the planet at that global level at that at that higher level where um it's just gonna ripple out you know and and I really got present to just how, how, how needed these spaces are, how needed medicine that doesn't necessarily get issued and created and pumped out by the pharmaceutical companies. Like, yes, they, they have brought a lot of um, good, you know, to, to the world. It's just out of balance, right? So what if we balance that with the medicine of fire, of earth, of the water, of the air? What if we balance that with the medicine of reconnecting to the essence the essences of who we truly are, what we're made of. And I have no doubt at all that the medicine of connecting with each other as humans on this planet, yeah, that's, um, that's where my heart's at and that's where my joy is at and just so grateful thanks for tuning in um i'll be sharing all throughout the journey as i did last time um, because there's always so many gems that come up and i hope that um yeah some of these landed in your heart in a positive way uh, you're walking away with some new spark <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Never, never underestimate the magic of this fire that is in you. Yeah. The magic of you and the power of that magic in you. Mm -hmm. 
Aloha. Om Santi 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 Om. And thanks to everyone today. And thanks to you for connecting in this way. <laughs>